We'll start with a mustard R30, size 12 dry fly hook. This is a double super bug. Uh, it was originally made as a caddis pattern, but it's a great searching pattern, great attractor. So we need a foundation of tying thread first, uh, just so we get a better purchase on the hook shank. And we go back to about there, and what we need is a small bunch of uh, deer hair for the tail so we just measure this out the best way to do this is measure your tail to that and then go forward again if you try and start tying that in at the tail all these are going to flare and it's going to be difficult to tie down so we put these just like this and we'll tie these in first there we go and then we can work our way back keeping hold of the deer hair the whole time at the tail you can't let it, let that go otherwise you'll have the same problem as what you're trying to avoid so we'll go back there we go and we can go forward again and pull all these Down. Go forward, title down, secure it. There we go, there's our tail. Go through forward and then we can trim off oops taking half the rubbish with me there trim off all the surplus to give a more even body there we go Go back again. Now there are some that use a blue dun hackle on this, palmered through the body, but I really don't think it's necessary. It's uh, a bit too much icing. So I just want to get rid of that. There. That one. Nice. Then we'll take our peacock curl. We tie this in right at the tail base. Move our thread up out the way. And we want to make a few turns of thread at the front so it doesn't all unwind as we, if you're going to rotate the vise that is. I find it easier to do it this way. We want to go about halfway with our peacock curl rear body. Back there, that will do us nicely. So securing that we can go back now. Let's wind that up, we can go back into the peacock curl. Pull that up on the other side. Tie that off like so. Good, that's looking good. And what we need is another bunch of deer hair for the first wing. This wants to be about as long as the tail. So we'll just measure that in. Now what we want to do is go once around the bunch and then twice around the hook shank and we'll tighten that up. Go through the deer hair forward There's the first wing. Then we need our scissors again. And we just trim down. Careful you don't trim off the uh, peacock curl now. It's not a big disaster if you do, you can easily tie that in again. It just takes a little more time, of course. And we'll just turn that around. We 
go. Then we'll go back and just tie down these ends. Just to open my thread. Forward. And then what we can do is we can carry on with a couple more turns there, the peacock curl body. And you see the deer hair makes the body a little bit heftier at the front. We'll do is that then we can go over there tie that down pull that off we can even give it a whip finish just there good up again. Then uh, we need another bunch of deer hair for the front wing. This should be a little bit more than the wing we tied in at the back. You see that's got a natural curve so I really want to turn that around. There we go. That'll do us. So we'll hold that in position again and again we'll go once around just the deer hair not the hook if I can show you that there. This technique just keeps the hair on top of the hook shank and we can tighten and it's very important now that we go through these open flared fibres because that will stop that wing from spinning and we can pull everything back. And go onto the hook eye. And tie it off. Give it a couple of whip finishes there. Good. And we can remove tying thread. Then what I want to do is it doesn't matter if you take a couple of these wing fibres, but you want to kind of try and separate all of these from the wing, so we can trim them down. You see there, there's no, because of that technique of going around the hair first, there's no deer hair that's spun around the hook there, if you can see that. Okay, then we can just trim this down. rather like a LK caddy swing. Just get rid of that like so. And that's it, I think. That's looking good. It's looking good. That's the double superbug. It's a, a very good searching pattern. Give it a go. Thanks for watching.